what do you do for a living? That's the classic holiday family gathering question, right? And my answer is I'm a financial advisor, but that's not really what I do. So when asked what I do, I say I help people make good decisions, or at least that's what I used to say. Now to explain why that's what I used to say, I need to talk about tennis, okay? So tennis has a statistic called unforced errors. And that's basically a shot that hits the net or goes out of bounds, costs you a point, makes you lose a point. And even the best players in the world strive for a one-to-one -one ratio of winners or shots that gain you a point versus unforced errors. Now, I think the same thing applies to your financial life, right? It's easy to see the consequences good of great decisions, but it's harder to see the costs of unforced errors. What are some unforced errors? Missing a deadline, not taking your RMD in time, for example. Um, trying to time the market can often lead to unforced errors when you get it wrong. And finally, anyone who's had to clean up an estate for a loved one who's passed away knows that leaving a complicated mess of accounts and, and policies can be a big unforced error. So a lot of my time is actually spent helping people avoid those unforced errors because those are just as important as the good decisions that I help someone make. So now when someone asks me what I do, I don't say I help people make good decisions. I say I help people avoid bad decisions. Avoid those unforced errors and you're gonna win more games.